see what that's going to look like. It'll be interesting to see how the coaching situation is in the dressing room, all that. So I know it's going to be, what we hear, it's going to be a little bit different. I think both teams will be kind of, kind of coming into something new. so we can make it work. How are you doing over there, Cookie and Goalie Land? Why don't you step up from the lake, my friend? Ah. Third place set a sharpener up, I think I yes. heard. Yep, power right in the middle here for sharpener. Okay, so we can move our one table out here. Yep. So sticks are here, not a ton of room to even use this door. So I mean, we could tell the players they're going to go out and come off the single door. Yep, well, the coaches want to come out here though. The scoreboard does look very awkward, but it's at the exact same height as all of our other buildings. It's just our ceilings, you know, 85 feet lower. Than We're much taller. But like that walk's not. No, it's not terrible. That's MSG basically. Yeah. Right away, you notice I ran off to make sure that uh, everything was what it's supposed to be. And it was, so we're good. I think everything looked dry regardless. So and we have there. until, uh, five o'clock for it to dry. Yeah. When we got here today, one of the first things we usually do is check dryness of the gear from the night before. And uh, to our surprise, it was uh, really dry here. So we got no complaints on that. You know, throughout my years in the league, there's a lot of different things that get thrown at you. And, you know, looking back on it, they're, they're all, uh, you know, great parts of it, so. You know, the, sh the sheet of ice is 200 by 85, and, and that's what we're focused on and um, trying to get a win. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think we're all excited to see what the atmosphere is going to be like, and I think that's going to be the big part of the game right now. And I think, you know, yeah, it's a little bit smaller of a place, but I think the atmosphere itself will be, it'll be electric. I think it'll bring a lot of, I think it'll bring a lot of life to the building and it'll excite the players. Teams. Uh, the Coyotes have not played here really, and everybody's got to get used to it. Yeah, Jay. On the, on the bench, please. Thank you. Thrust it off the boards and sends it bounding down inside that Arizona end. Grabbed by Perfetti. Perfetti walks out. Perfetti shot. He scores. Cole Perfetti with a there's a lot of things and traveling with 99 pieces, you know, you got all the bags and then you, you know, you have so many things that you have to do and you have a checklist in your head. And then, you know, with this rink now, guys are, guys are out at the bench that usually wouldn't be out at the bench, but because it's so far, we got a skate sharpener out the bench and, and things change and you just, you know, you just take that and, and you go with that and you run with that. So what we try and do right now, because you know, no one's in here is we just, you take a stall and you clean it up the best you can. So we pull the bags. If the guys can come off the ice and it's a no brainer, they just come to their stall, take off their stuff, leave in the bag, take it to the cart and get it to the truck and then we're gone. You want to be as fast as and efficient as you can every night. 
but especially on a back-to-back -back because there's it's just such a quick turnaround and if we can do uh, everything we can to make it easiest for the players to be at their best that's what we want to do a huge comeback in the desert a 3-2 final and they won three in a row